Well, the protests and violence can be hard to comprehend at any age, but especially for children. Our sister station, WXIN's Melissa Crash, explains school districts are stepping up to help guide families through these important but difficult conversations. School may be out for the summer. Yet Hamilton Southeastern sent this message to families on Saturday, reading in part, we are experiencing a tough reality of lives lost, not only to the global pandemic, but also to racially motivated violence. And that HSC is devoted to create a safe and supportive environment. We also have a legal obligation to make sure that each student in our district feels safe. Erica Buchanan Rivera is the Chief Equity and Inclusion Officer for HSC. She says images from weekend protests can have many feeling hopeless. And we have to be immersed in critical conversations to understand not only the why behind these systemic issues, but our role and our responsibility and our call for action. If you're noticing your child is paying attention to the news or watching what's going on, asking them what they're thinking about it. Brooke Lawson is the mental health and school counseling coordinator. She says you don't have to be an expert, but keep in mind adult reactions to stress can influence how kids react. So it's important it's important to let your child guide the conversation and to be as honest about what's going on as you can. Um, but also just being mindful of the emotional reaction that they're having because it's traumatic and scary. If parents notice isolation, withdrawal from friends, or bullying online, Lawson says those are warning signs and not to take them lightly. We know that students by the age of six months are able to determine racial differences. By the age of four, they're able to have racial biases. And we know that mistreatment happens to students as early as preschool ages. And so parents, especially communities of color, have to have these conversations about race at a very early age. Creating a safe and understanding space for dialogue. It's just most important that you're talking about it, right? And you're, you're acknowledging that, that this is important to our family and that we need to have some conversation around it.